SpaceX has always amazed the space community with its spectacular spacecrafts. But there is one very anticipated launch that the world is waiting for. If you haven't guessed already, it's the launch of SpaceX's Starship Super Heavy. And it seems like we might finally have some good news. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are here with very exciting news about the launch of Starship Super Heavy, which is expected to happen very soon. What's going on at SpaceX, and when can we expect the launch? Interested to know? Then stick around till the end to find out more about it. There is no doubt that SpaceX's Starship is the biggest rocket with reusable boosters that have never been produced. Since its announcement, it has been a very much anticipated spacecraft. Elon Musk, who is the CEO of the company, announced at the start of 2022 that the world can expect an official launch of the spaceship in the upcoming 12 months. And it's not like all his claims were false, as we have seen the space company run a lot of test flights in the past few months. But until then, we don't get to see the official launch that was promised. Nothing can be said about the feasibility of the rocket system. The last time when the Starship was launched, it was back in 2021. It wasn't like a full-fledged orbital launch, but it was something. However, now that we are in the last few days before we say goodbye to 2022, can we expect the very much awaited launch of Starship Super Heavy or not? So here is the good news. SpaceX has recently conducted a few static tests of Starship's boosters at their Texas site. So considering that, many are speculating that the long promised launch might be on its way. And the best part about this news is we might be seeing it before we step into 2023. In the recent developments that took place at SpaceX, we didn't hear any official announcements regarding the launch date. But last week, the private space agency conducted a test on one of the Starship's boosters. If we get into the technical details of it, this booster has 33 Raptor engines attached to it. And together, they produce a force that has never been seen on any of the rockets using a liquid fuel system. During the recent test, only 11 of these 33 engines were fired on full throttle, and though SpaceX did not announce the power output, we can expect a thrust of 5.61 million pounds of the 11. The total output of these 33 boosters on full throttle is three times that. So, Starship's boosters are the real deal when it comes to the thrust they can produce. And the thing is, such static tests are nothing new. Even in November, SpaceX conducted a static booster test, and at that time, 14 Raptor engines were fired. But then, no official launch was seen afterward. Then the question is, how are we expecting this test to be the last one? This could be another of those regular tests. No doubt it is a very genuine question, but Elon Musk said back in November after they conducted their test, next test is 20 seconds firing with max oxygen test to fill the test autogenous pressurization. Possibly one more static fire, then orbital launch attempt. So, this gives us the hope that the recent test might be the final one. And next, we will see an official orbital launch. Elon Musk has repeatedly changed his announcements, and many say he overpromises. But let's see what happens this time. Because every time the launch was delayed previously, SpaceX had some solid reasons to back it. For example, first, it was the structural changes that SpaceX did to their spaceship. So, what happened was that when SpaceX announced the first few prototypes, those were made using carbon fiber. But anyone with a very basic knowledge of engineering can tell that using carbon fiber is a very costly endeavor. So, later SpaceX told that they have ditched the idea of using carbon fiber as their outer sheet. And now that the body of Starship Super Heavy will be made using stainless steel. But that was in the very earlier phases of development. Then the next issue faced by SpaceX was that NASA had plans to launch its SLS rocket system. So, they were waiting for the green signal from NASA to conduct its orbital flight. But now such obstacles are not there anymore. We can expect that Starship will be launched. There are some things that SpaceX needs to settle with the FAA regarding the environmental impact of the launch. But once it's granted the license, 
I don't think it'll take much longer to launch the vessel. SpaceX has really done a phenomenal job in building the futuristic vessel. The current version of the Starship Super Heavy is 230 feet tall, and the entire structure of Starship is a 40 stories tall stack of spacecraft. You know what that means for the space industry. It is going to be the biggest spacecraft the world has ever seen before. Even the latest rocket launched by NASA cannot beat what this private agency has come up with. It's not just Starship size that's greater than that of NASA SLS rocket. Even the thrust which will be produced by 33 Raptor engines will be much greater. For comparison, the SLS rocket system which is currently the biggest rocket that has been launched from the Earth, produced a thrust of 8.8 .8 million pounds. On the other hand, the 33 booster engines fitted to Starship are capable of producing 16 million pounds of thrust. There you go, Starship Super Heavy isn't an ordinary machine. Considering the goals that Elon Musk aims to achieve from this massive spacecraft, it must be something that the world has never seen. Although the first orbital flight that we are expecting to happen in the coming few days is a non-crewed one, but once it's ready and proves what it is capable of, then SpaceX will start conducting its crewed flights. By 2026, NASA plans to send the man back to the moon. And that's when Starship will work alongside NASA's Artemis 1 to help in accomplishing this mission. When Elon Musk announced the Starship, he was doing so to make orbital flights much easier, more convenient, and cheaper. SpaceX is working on a dream to make space accessible for the common man. And that's why this Starship Super Heavy mission needs to work. All the dreams to go visit Mars and maybe colonize it one day depends on the success of Starship. So let's hope that we get to see the launch of this spectacular spacecraft before the end of this year. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.